Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in uh, one of my favourite Weatherspoons pubs in Victoria. I'm in the Willow Walk. If you've ever been in there, you may recognise it uh, from the view behind me. I've uh, been a little bit ill for the last few days, uh, which has kept me offline. Uh, but I've still managed uh, to keep on writing my poetry. Uh, I have just finished my latest book. Let's see that's coming out the wrong way around. I, should have to, I have a new computer, so I'll have to sort that out. Um, but I've just finished it. I started it in, or on the 10th of December 2013. Uh, we are now past the 8th of March. Uh, I've written two poems this weekend. I shall do them separately because they're actually now in different books. The first poem is called A Lonely Journey. I find myself alone at yet another junction after breaking through the fog on what has been another very bumpy road. As always, the signposts are confusing. They've never been clear. Always leave me unsure as to which way to proceed. Decisions, decisions. They don't get easier with age. And please don't feel sorry for me. And please don't try pointing me in the right direction. Odds on, I'll flip a coin as I've always done right or left and straight on thereafter. Possibly the reason why I find myself continuously lost in the unrelenting, foggy wilderness that has been my life. Don't feel sorry for me, as I would not have chosen any other way. Never want to follow, travelling light and always on my own. My way, the only way, the way it had to be for me. One day, just like you, I'll unwittingly stumble across a final junction. Just like you, it will not be mine to choose. The road ahead will be clearly marked, where instead of choice, Something, someone, will be beckoning. The road has been long, a blessing in itself, some roads being short. My journey, full of hazards and pitfalls, extremes of sadness with painful losses pushed pushed from memory, yet never forgotten. Please, don't feel sorry for me. There were some moments of happiness. When I look back at my lonely isolation, I see it as my destiny being fulfilled. And at the end of the day, it was always me that chose the way, as it always will be until my final day. I find myself alone at yet another junction. I send sorrow and pity amongst you, but please feel neither. As for both and all of us, one day the signpost will read Terminus. It's where we all end up, where we finally hang up our boots. Journey completed in a room full of equally lost sons.